Thank you so much. Welcome to the Indian Truck House of High Art Special Edition. So our first testimonial is from somebody whose life is forever changed because of the Indian Truck House of High Art. I recently found out my great-great-grandmother was one quarter Cree, uh, I mean Navajo. So I bought this bone choker. You know, as a former white person, it's really helped me connect with my roots. My name is Ursula Johnson, and I'm an interdisciplinary uh, visual artist. The easiest way to explain my work it's often not what people initially think it is. So in 2011, I did, it was kind of like a guerrilla style performance. I set up this little booth, but the booth was stocked with a bunch of things that I had collected. I went to all of these dollar stores and discount stores where I would purchase anything that remotely looked like it was Indian. And then I attached uh, these little pieces of yarn that had a little tag on it and the tag said this object is 100% authentic Indian high art made in Mi'kma'ki and then it had my status card number on there and on the reverse side of the tag there was prices and the prices range from $17.20 to $17.90 which are all dates of the treaties between the Mi'kmaq and the Crown. So I'm taking this Indian truck house of high art and we'll be mounting it as a full installation with video and audio component at Central Art Garage in Ottawa. I'm looking for some, uh, some kind of like culturally appropriated indigenous trinkets or something. Oh, look at this one. Whoa. <laughs> Got a big, huge eagle head on that one. Some fancy looking turquoise beads here. A little broken little slingshot and a little wolf on there. And Ottawa is also a very um, loaded place with regards to consumption of indigenous um, commodified objects or cultural objects. In my practice, I often look at these notions of responsibility, who's responsible for what and why, and at what point in time do we share that responsibility or the burden of that responsibility. One thing that I'm really hopeful for when people come into my installation and performance spaces is they think about their, their own role with regards to that, that notion of sustainability. Like what is their responsibility? What role do they have to play? Do they come in and just say, oh, this is too much, I don't want anything to do with it, and then they just leave? Or are they going to take that, that notion of an uncomfortable or discomforting subject matter that I may have put out what I'm hoping for is people to say, you know, I see it as a problem too, and this is what I can contribute to it, and let's work together to try to create something out of it.